business myself for about five years professionally and the last two years have been full-time and uh, we're just seeing what we can do and, and what we can bring to the chili world. Being a full-time yeah, chili farmer, being a full-time chili farmer, you love spicy food then? I do, yeah, there's nothing better to me than a nice kebab on a Friday night. <laughs> so tell us, explain it to us then, how did you discover that this seemingly innocuous little plant uh, has the power to kill? So um, I, I wouldn't say it has exactly the power to kill, um, but anyway, I, uh, I've, grown, I've grown a number of chilies. Uh, this one, the rule on the farm is whatever we grow, we have to know what it tastes like. So I have to try every single chili that I grow on the farm and trying this variety that, that I did, and it's the dragon's breath, uh, not the devil's breath. Um, trying this chili, uh, I, it was just stupidly hot compared to any of the other chilies that I've grown before. Um, just, just pause there for a second, Neil. I just want to bring, uh, show our viewers, uh, uh, give our viewers an idea of, of the heat of this particular pepper. It's the Scoville scale that's used uh, to measure the heat. Uh, take the sweet bell pepper, for example. That's got a Scoville rating of zero. Getting hotter, the habanero, a range of 100,000 to 350,000. Popular pepper in the northeast of India is the ghost pepper, rated at over uh, 1 million and topping the scale, dragon's breath. The hottest in the world, measuring a formidable 2.4 million on the Scoville scale. So, you know, speaking as a, a former employee of Ayrshire's finest uh, Indian restaurant, the Shish Mahal, I, I know that a bit of spice really can improve a dish. But what can you do with a chilli that measures 2.4 million on the Scoville? Uh, well, what I'd advise to do is use it in very, very small portions. <laughs> um, it's great for, for making jams and chutneys. Um, but as I say, you can make a nice batch of six to twelve jars with just one pepper and it's still super hot, super hot chutney or jam if you do that. Yeah, uh, Sunday mornings in your bedroom must be a, a thing of beauty, I'm sure. Uh, just, a, just a final thought, can you get any hotter? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm sure going to give it a go in the future. Uh, watch this space, as they say. I, I would wish you well, but I'm sure that means the next time my producer and director will get me to try one of these things. So we'll leave it there. Uh, Neil Price, thanks very much for